Okay, so before we move on to the coronavirus epidemic mathematical modeling phase, let me show you one last thing, and specifically how to plot the population density overlaid on top of the grid structure of this polygon on the, on the Yerevan map. Um, in order to do that, we will need to load um, a specific file containing the, um, containing the population densities uh, in each cell. So if we go to the course folder and look up uh, the materials, you will find here Yerevan grid population pkl, which is a pickle file. A very convenient way to store essentially any kind of numerical data in Python. Let me load it for you first. So um, we specify a pkl file where we uh, load the pickle file. Specify the folder here one. Um, oh, sorry, no. Materials here one. Uh, grid population dot pkl, and we specify the the reading mode, which will specify RNB, which stands for read and write. Um, although it could have been as well just R. Um, then we put, let's name the variable we want to assign the population data to Yerevan pop. And of course we will need to import pickle first. This is a, uh, an internal um, library that you, you don't need to install it separately. You, you probably already have it installed. So you just load this data. Then you close the pickle file. And let's see, we can print here one, here one pop. Okay, so there you go. And the reason you see these uh, weird float numbers instead of integers, um, well, you obviously you can't have 2020.9 people. Uh, you need an, uh, an, a whole number to, to represent the number of people in that particular cell is because um, this data has been estimated actually from a local mobile phone company and has been scaled uh, in order to fit the general population number of 1 million in Yerevan city. Okay, so this uh, obviously um, these numbers were much smaller because they don't cover the entire population, just a sample of it. And uh, all numbers have been scaled, so they add up to 1 million. Okay, so this is the reason why you have these weird numbers. We can, you can get rid of them, it doesn't really matter. So we can do a, a quick numerical uh, exploratory analysis of uh, this population data to see how it's, for example, distributed via a histogram so we can do plt hist we put yerevan pop uh, we specify the number of bins let's say 50 and we do plt show and you can see that um, the data is highly skewed meaning that most of the cells are empty they're either close to zero or zero itself and it has a very long right tail, okay? So there are some cells which contain an extremely large number of people. For example, these here contain up to 25,000 people. I assume it will be somewhere in the center because um, Yerevan is mostly a monocentric city and the center is the most highly populated, uh, most densely populated um, part of the city. But in order to check that, we need to plot it on the map. And this is exactly what I was going to, I wanted to show you. And what we'll do is, um, since we already have um, the grid shape file prepared for you here, I will load it directly to our Jupyter notebook here. And print its head. And if we now do the following prints, we 
we see that they are equal. In fact, they have designed to be equal so that they match exactly and we can use the population array as a separate column for our Yerevan GDF data frame. Let's do just that. There you go. And now if we do the plotting finally, setting up the boundaries first, We set up the column, the one we are interested in. And this is the crucial part for letting the plot method of GeoPandas know that we're, we're interested in using the population values as intensities to plot on the map. Then we also want a legend and also a color map something like magma then we finish up and there you go hmm something looks wrong um it looks the other, other way around it, oh i know what the mistake is we have mixed up east and west here mm. This is, this is also a kind of mistake that happens quite often, so you should pay attention to this. And now you see the result. Now everything looks fine. And this is exactly what I had in mind when uh, I told you we want to plot that population density and to check whether the center is indeed more um, densely populated, which is the case as you can see. Um, the only thing is that um, the color bar over here is the uh, first thing to notice the font is too small and the second thing is that the color bar itself is disproportionately large so we how to fix this this is, these are uh, nitty-gritty details of matplotlib that i think will be useful to you so i'll share it with you